When my wife lost her credit card, I didn't report it. Whoever took it was spending less than she did. <gasps> the last time we talked, we talked about people reports. This time, we're gonna go ahead and move on to the next one and talk about credential reports. Credential reports are used to pull data and information based on all of the credentials that you've input into your access control system. These reports let you pull information based on your credential numbers, your credential types, the creation date, last scanned activity, and even the credential status. That's very fancy. Open your app, go to reports, and click on that credential reports option. And then let's go ahead and build a new one by hitting that plus button. Just like everything else, give it a name. Are you noticing a pattern? Giving things names just makes organizations so much easier. Next, let's narrow down what we're looking for. So we'll need to add a filter. You're gonna see a bunch of different options for narrowing down these results. For this example, let's try to find out which cards were scanned last. So let's choose last scan. You'll then be able to choose the time period that we're looking for. So let's go ahead and choose last month. We then need to choose our different outputs, which will display the different field options that are available for this report. If you want to download the report, go ahead and hit that export button. And once you've done that, go ahead and hit the refresh button to view the report. Scroll to the top and hit save. It'll then be saved for you to view at any time in your credentials report section. You're really learning a lot now, aren't you? PDK is easy to use anytime, anywhere, and on any device. Thanks for tuning in. Be sure to watch the next video in this series for more how-to instructions. Okay, who's ready to party? You thought I was gonna do it.